afternoon everybody pradeep pendiala professor of anesthesiology today i am going to talk very very briefly about sepsis and how to manage a case of sepsis patient okay now let me uh, talk uh, briefly about what is uh, sepsis is all about well the definition kept on changing and the latest if you want to know but the infected patients with an increase of more than two sequential organ failure otherwise known as sofa s o f a you must have heard about it uh, that was as well as quick sofa <laughs> that means quick uh, sequential organ failure score you must have more than two sequential organ failure score to be called a case of sepsis septic shock is defined as a refractory hypertension as a refractory hypertension requiring vasopressors with concurrent hyperlactemia which should be more than 2 millimol per liter okay shall i repeat it septic shock is defined as refractory hypertension requiring vasopressors with concurrent hyperlactemia despite adequate fluid resuscitation and i'm sure you would uh, you have understood it well and now if you want to exclude a uh, quick sofa uh, it has to be excluded from the earlier definition of systemic inflammatory response syndrome it used to be known as it used to be known as sirs okay now let me talk very briefly about the treatment part well when once the sepsis is <clears throat> diagnose you must measure and remeasure the lactate levels don't forget that and you have to follow the golden hour bundle okay and i'm sure you must have heard about early goal directed therapy is otherwise known as egdt this terminology would come across um uh, you will come across this uh, acronym very often early goal directed therapy in sepsis patient so you have to measure and remeasure lactate levels obtain blood culture prior to administration of antibiotics it's very very uh, simple and it's a common sense that you must obtain the blood culture before you start giving antibiotics otherwise you'll have a wrong result administration of broad spectrum antibiotics is the requirement and volume resuscitation that's very important that should be with the crystalloids okay now crystalloids should be 30 ml per kg that's a huge amount please remember that this question will be asked to you in the viva <laughs> very often what is the um, amount of volume resuscitation which you give in a case of sepsis not 4 ml or 5 ml per kg it is 30 ml per kg okay and the most important element is vasopressor administration and the map the mean arterial pressure must be maintained always more than 65 mm of mercury these are the points you must always mention measure and remeasure lactate levels obtain blood culture prior to administration of antibiotic and administration of broad spectrum antibiotic and uh, crystalloid administration more than 30 ml per kg and giving a vasopressor to maintain mep more than 65 mm of mercury that is the golden hour and not to forget you must remember that and blood component therapy also may be needed occasionally if uh, to maintain hemoglobin more than 7 g and platelets should be more than 50 thousand okay and the vasopressors of choice are nothing but norepinephrine always remember that norepinephrine is the first choice second dopamine then adrenaline and also uh, vasopressin in this order and dop dopamine may also be used occasionally thanks for patient listening by the way word about focus have you heard of it's not focus it is focus point of care <clears throat> ultrasound point of care ultrasound is very much needed uh, for sepsis patient to know many things like assessment in terms of inferior vena cava dimension 
you will know cardiac chamber dilatation valvular dysfunction pericardial effusion or these things many things like pleural effusion non consolidation everything can be known uh, even pulmonary edema can be known by point of care ultrasound that is known as pocus thanks for patient listening <clears throat> until next time take care bye bye